let's see the third theorem which is generally applicable to all circles Theorem 3 says that if a perpendicular is drawn from center to a chord, it bisects the chord. Now what does this mean? This means that PL should be equal to LQ if this theorem is correct. In order to do that, let's form two triangles. Let's extend this line. So now you have basically triangle OPL and triangle to prove that PL is equal to LQ, we will have to prove that triangle OPL, which is this part, is equal to triangle OLQ. So let us see if we can achieve this. Now in these two triangles, we know that OP is equal to OQ. is equal to R. Why? Because both this has been radius. So side. Then OL is equal to OL. Why? Because this is common side in both the triangles. And angle OLP is equal to angle OLQ. Both are right angle. Given. Angle. So applying the SSA rule, we conclude that triangle instead of AND, we have triangle OPL is congruent to triangle OLQ. And hence, hence PL is equal to LQ. Why? These are corresponding parts or corresponding sides of congruent triangles. So these points you really need to note out because these are what are going to help you in solving various problems as you come across while dealing with circles. <coughs> 